Hello YouTube, this is a quick video regarding the latest sign engine mod update Android 4.4.2 keycat to my Samsung Galaxy S2. This is the international version of Samsung Galaxy S2 released in 2011 and Samsung uh, already stopped developing latest uh, update to this device now we can use signage mode or some other roms like this for getting the latest version of android as you can see this is uh, 4.4.2 keycat from touchwish to this is uh, almost pure google experience as you can see this is the launcher unlike touches this is lightweight and fast also this is uh, using very less resource when comparing to a usage of ram or overall space after installing software 1.1 gb free i used 859 mb for application and around 6.5 GB SD card used I didn't uh, insert my micro, my micro SD card as you can see there is a lot of running uh, programs like Facebook remaster and uh, some Google services still 282 MB free I'm using uh, this uh, clean master for cleaning uh, active applications that not in use also this is this uh, sign engine mode you can expect the full customization power of android and like touchwish this is rooted and you can customize every aspects of this os and as you can see the drop down notification like android 4.4 sorry i think it's introduced in uh, jelly bean itself and uh, later they modified a lot in this area you can get this uh, in this version of android this is an engine mode 11 it's not stable as they say this is nightly release nightly release but no problem i think i don't have any problem with this rom uh, this is quite stable i am using it for more than a week now uh, still uh, there is no such a problem uh, gps wi-fi everything is working fine and there is no reason to say this is uh, unstable or uh, cannot use for day to day usage everything is working fine and I, I hope you know the features of android 4.4 uh, you can directly access camera from the lock screen itself also you can add widgets to the lock screen uh, you can even you can change the pattern to 4 plus 4 or 5 or whatever you like you can arrange these icons uh, I'm using no wallpaper for saving power uh, this is OLED display uh, black color no need LCD city to display so I am using no wallpaper this is, uh, not look like this uh, you can add wallpapers mm -hmm. Or you can also add live wallpaper, anything you want. You can customize. And uh, this is the new 4.4 dialer. I hope you can see. Unlike, unlike, sorry. Unlike TouchWiz in this 4.4 update. Uh, you can see uh, contacts you frequently contacted and you can take missed calls and 
statistics of calls from this like this you who you are track you can track who uh, the people you are contacting more and who is calling you and who is calling you back like that you can see all statistics here and so you can see the history this is the dialing screen you can dial phone number or whatever it is okay that is about uh, the new phone application uh, there is a, an SMS application but you can uh, integrate hangouts with SMS if you need to otherwise you can use the default SMS application and you can uh, these icons can be uh, stored in folders uh, you can add more than one icon in this is unnamed folder you can see two icons in one folder and this is a this is the default gallery application um, everything is working fine mm, this is the home screen uh, while adding new application or creating new shortcuts the home screen will be automatically added and if you don't want this home screen you just remove the application out there it will automatically get deleted and as you can see the camera is working fine flash is working uh, video recording is working video playback eternity video playback is working and this see this is a torch application built in and touch is you cannot see that in 4.1.2 by Samsung later they added a widget to 4.2.2 in new devices for this particular device Samsung Galaxy S2 they now released a touch sorry the torch or something like that I don't know why Samsung is not releasing any software update for this smartphone this is cable for running 4.4.2 because uh, this uh, particular device has a very good hardware with 1 GB RAM and dual core processor and 16 GB of internal memory 8 megapixel camera uh, so I have no idea why Samsung is doing like this because I think <laughs> they are waiting for we are getting updated with new Galaxy S device. If Samsung is doing like this, I will not buy any new Galaxy S device because uh, this is released in 2011 and uh, in 2013, sorry, uh, around 2013, they dropped support for this device. You can see iPhone 4 still get iOS 1.1, even iOS 8 see the support Apple gives to their handsets as you can see this is the most successful Galaxy sorry Android device ever in the history Galaxy S device sold over 194 million units Galaxy S1 was launched in 2010 after that S2 in 2011 I don't know if you can see okay Galaxy S2 launched in 2011 S3 in 2012 and S4 in 2030 as you can see the most successful among these is Samsung Galaxy S2 see the graph he is the more successful fellow but he is not getting any software update anymore mm. Galaxy S was the first device but that is totally out of date it's a single core processor and 0.5 GB RAM 4 inch screen 1500 mAh battery ok 
Nothing more in this 4.4.2 update. Uh, I recently updated, uh, I think few months ago, I updated, uh, sorry, I uploaded a video about Synergy Mode 10. Around uh, 10 to 11, most of the features are looking same. And now you can download a stable, full stable version of Synergy Mode 10. This is 11 nightly release. Uh, by installing you can install this uh, particular software with uh, a few clicks few mouse clicks you have to download the synergy mode apk and install to your phone after that you have to connect uh, this device to pc and install a piece of software on your pc this will automatically download the latest operating system and flash your device this is a simple uh, you all you need is to follow and click few need few clicks that's it it's quite simple and <coughs> i think the 2011 galaxy smartphone i am still using because of financial mode otherwise i have to buy a new handset a galaxy s device or any other htc or any other device anyway this is a very good update see the file manager okay i will go through some default software pre install it in this signation more this is the launcher this is the uh, default google experience launcher and can you can you will get camera app and a default browser other than chrome and a calculator clock and DSV manager and a music player also okay one more thing you have to install google play services like uh, google play store google uh, now etc as a uh, additional software package it's very simple around 80 megabyte you have to download that package and flash it manually that's very simple you have to restart your phone and download and uh, recovery mode or download mode i don't know exactly after that that will you can choose that zip file and click update that's it that will update google play and all google services to your phone google says that uh, google play and google now they have proprietary software uh, synergy mode cannot distribute those software with uh, their update so recently they removed google play from synergy mode but still it's working fine you have to download an 80 megabyte package and update with your phone it will take less than one or two minutes to do this if you go to uh, any help regarding this update to how to do video tutorial or something like that uh, just leave a comment I will try to help you anyway thanks for watching have a nice day just a second a second I will give you some more information regarding this cyanogen mode this is android okay this is the uh, CM where's the uh, CM11 nightly and 9100 built will date 18 March sorry 23 March 2014 they are actively developing software for this uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, I think I updated the same day they uploaded the latest nightly release i think every day they are updating their nightly release uh, so i think you are safe to use synergy mode they are actively updating uh, their package or their software whatever it is uh, oh, one more thing i will show you the battery usage i updated this device and I didn't use that much as you can see uh, 
I just used around one and a half hours in total screen up time and got uh, some music and updated some application it's installed few applications read some news some facebooking some calls it lasts around 18 hours and 19 minutes on battery that's uh, very good for this uh, phone because in stock 4.1.1 it wouldn't last like this anyway thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye